friends. Today I'm exploring and I have two ways that I can go. One way looks really easy, but this path doesn't have a name. And when I look this way, I can't see the whole path. It doesn't look easy, but it is named God's way. And because this path has a name, I know that others have followed this path before. Today, our big idea is God's way is the right way. God's way is not always easy, but it is the right one to take. Let's watch a true Bible story of a woman who started on the wrong path, and then she said she was sorry, and she chose to follow God's way. Stories of the Bible, Jesus and the Sinful Woman. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees named Simon asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah, if this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, it's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man that he goes around forgiving sins? And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Friends, even when the woman in our story didn't follow God's way, she was able to say she was sorry and then follow God's way again. God's way is the right way. Let's go see Bible Buddy and practice our Bible words with him. But first, let's get bouncy and sing his favorite song. Are you ready? The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Bible! Hi, Bible Bunny. Today's story was about a sinful woman. She was sorry about the wrong things she had done, and Jesus forgave her. 
And we learned that even when we don't choose God's way, we can always say we're sorry and then choose God's way again. Yes, we did come to practice our Bible words with you. Our Bible words today come from Philippians 2, 4. Be humble and care for others. I'm going to sing our Bible words so that it helps me remember them. I'll sing them first and then you can sing along with me. Be humble and care for others, care for others, care for others. Be humble and care for others. Philippians 2, 4. Now you ready to sing them with me? Great. Here we go. Be humble and care for others, care for others, care for others. Be humble and care for others. Philippians 2, 4. Oh, that was so fun. I love singing our Bible words. Oh, Bible Bunny, that is a great question. Friends, Bible Bunny wants to know how we can choose God's way since it's the right way. Do you have any ideas? Oh, I heard a lot of great answers. I won't be able to share them all, but I can share a few of them. I heard someone say that our adults can help us know what God's way is. And I also heard some friends say that if we love God and we love others, it can help us choose God's way. And I heard another friend say that we can pray and ask God to help us. Did we help you, Bible Bunny? We did. Oh, I'm so glad. And thanks for visiting us today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, boys and girls, I am ready to listen to God and choose His way. And I hope you are too. Let's sing together.
Friends, do we always remember that God's way is the right way? No, sometimes we forget that God's way is the right way. And sometimes we just don't listen to God and we don't choose His way. When we forget that God's way is the right way, how do we get back on it? The Bible tells us that we can tell God we're sorry and we can choose to follow God's way. God's way is the right way and we know that God cares for everyone. So we can know that even when we forget to do things God's way, God still loves us. God loves you this much all the time, even when we forget that God's way is the right way. And God's love for you this much all the time will never, ever change. Well, it's almost time to go, but let's pray before we do. Let's be very quiet. Let's be very quiet. We fold our hands, bow our heads, and pray to God. Dear God, thank you for loving us all the time. Help us to remember that your way is the right way. In Jesus' name we pray and all God's children said, Amen. Thanks for joining us today, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Bye.